Welcome to the EZU lesson on underwriting requests for member agents. Since shared carrier accounts are granted access to you via parent agency, the parent agency underwriters will need to be the ones that speak to the carrier on your behalf to finalize the premium and bind the policy. The underwriting request feature allows you to communicate with your parent agency underwriters for shared carrier accounts inside of EZLinks. In this lesson, we will demonstrate how to use the underwriting request feature to send requests to underwriters. So let's get started. There are four main steps to the underwriting request process. First, quote the applicant. Second, submit the initial request to finalize the premium. Third, wait for the underwriter's response. And finally, send the bind request to your parent agency admin once all information is in order. Please keep in mind, completing this step does not provide coverage. There are three ways you can access the underwriting messaging page. First is where we are currently, the Requests tab. If you do not see this tab on an applicant, you do not have this feature. Please reach out to an admin if you think you should have this feature for shared carriers. From here, you can find all submitted requests for the specific applicant. Submitted requests are quotes that where the Finalize Premium button has been clicked. You will have the option to view or cancel requests. View will take you to the Underwriting Request page. If cancelling, you must select a reason from the drop-down. Second way to access underwriting messaging is by hovering over the dashboard icon and selecting underwriting requests. This will show a list of all your requests that you can filter using the filters above. View and cancel work the same on this page. You can also click on the applicant to be taken to their account in easy links. Third, from the quote results tab is when you click on finalize premium. This will take you directly to the underwriting messaging page. Now, we will cover the four main steps in the underwriting request process in more detail. The first step in the process is receiving a quote for your applicant. Once you receive a successful quote, you will see the Finalize Premium button on the Quote tab. Click the button to begin the initial request. Here is the underwriting request feature. Notice to the left there are request details including requested by, agency and underwriter assigned to your request. Under that is the status pane. Here you can see the status of the request. In the middle, you will see quote and documents. Under quote you can see the quote summary from the quote tab. You will also notice application specific information like drivers, vehicles, etc. Click on the documents tab to find any documents uploaded for this request. It's recommended to include as much information as possible in the initial request to decrease the likelihood of the underwriter asking for additional information thus slowing the process. To attach a document click on Attach. You will then have the ability to select a document from your computer. Next is the Messages and Activities section. Click the filter icon to the right. Disable Hide Activities to show all activities related to the request with timestamps and usernames. Notice you can also sort using the drop-down. Under that, you can send and receive messages to the underwriter. When all documents and information are added it's time to send a message to your underwriter. Once your message is ready click the send icon. This will upload the document. Now that everything is updated, click request final premium to notify your underwriter you are ready. Notice the change to finalize premium submitted. Next, at the bottom of the pane, you can also change the status. You do not have to change the status after every message sent. Therefore, when appropriate select a status from the drop-down and select update. Notice you do have the option for in progress, cancelled, customer declined, request expired or no response. While the underwriter is reviewing your request, they may or may not require more information from you to complete this process. When this happens, the status may change to information requested. You will receive an email with a link to view the message or use one of the methods shown earlier to access. Add any supporting documents and messages as shown earlier in the video. Keep in mind that the underwriter may request information multiple times throughout this process. When ready, click Information Provided. This will update the message and status letting the underwriter know. If the request is cancelled or closed by the underwriter, they will usually give a reason. You will have the option to reopen the request if desired. 
On the other hand, once all information has been provided, and the underwriter has notified you that their initial review for finalizing the premium is complete, reach out to the customer to confirm that the coverages and final premium meet their needs. If the customer would like to bind the policy, respond to your underwriter by clicking Bind Request from your Quote tab or Underwriting Message page. From here, your parent agency will be notified of the request to bind the policy. They will work with the carrier to bind the policy. Once this is complete, they will update the bind request status to complete. Additionally, they usually send a message or attachment containing the policy details. If they do, then creating the policy in your EasyLinks account is your responsibility. Optionally, parent agency admins could add an EasyLinks policy shell on your behalf through the policy underwriting request option before a policy is downloaded. That is all for this course on underwriting requests for member agents. You should now have the knowledge and skills needed to use the underwriting request feature for binding. Thanks for watching.